us at the Lakes Region Humane Society. My name is Megan Victor. I'm the Managing Director. And I'm Deb Watkins, Assistant Director. We're going to tell you a little bit about upcoming events and some pet tips for November. Um, and then Beth Knox is going to show you our available pets. So we have an upcoming event, which is our holiday dinner at Old Bistro Barn in Wolfboro. And it's going to be at, at 5.30 on Sunday, December 2nd. $65 per person. It includes appetizers, dinner, dessert, annual awards ceremony, cash bar, giving tree, um, and a silent auction. And you can also sign up for that on our website. You can also um, do it here. You can give me a call and I can take your reservation. So if you're interested in doing that, it's a, it's a sellout usually. So I recommend getting that reservation in as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. And our website is lrhs.net if you want to register online. All right, the <laughs> annual appeal letter will be hitting mailboxes this month, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, we are a little below where we'd like to be to meet budget for the year. Um, anything you can give to help us help these pets is greatly appreciated. Um, so please uh, be generous if you can, um, because we do, we do take in quite a few animals. We've taken in about 280 pets so far that need um, medical care, kenneling, safety, food, and new homes. Um, so we've taken in quite a few, and we're on track to break um, our intake numbers for last year as well. So um, that comes with more medical costs and more animal care costs. So we really need your help for that. Okay, talking turkey. Um, if you decide to feed your pet a bit of turkey, especially at Thanksgiving, I recommend that uh, you make sure that it's boneless. Uh, cooked bones can splinter and can cause medical issues for your pets. So be careful with all that. And of course, you know, any kind of chocolate that you have around, keep it out of, out of their, their way as well. Hunting season safety. Uh, wear bright colors when you're walking your dog on a leash. Keep cats inside. Don't forget to continue your flea and uh, mm -hmm. tick uh, preventatives and also your heartworm. LRHS is going to be closed in observance for Thanksgiving, so have a very happy Thanksgiving. And then as you're sitting down to Thanksgiving dinner this year and you're, you're holding hands with your loved ones and you're, you're thinking of the things that you're grateful for, the food that you have, the roof that you have over your head, uh, the heat that's coming out of your radiator, please also think about our pets in need here. Some of them are strays, they're living outside. Um, because of your donations and because of Good Samaritans who take the time to catch these animals, um, they're able to bring them in here where those animals will get the same food and shelter and heat as the things you are uh, grateful for. Um, we're grateful for your support. We hope that you'll consider us in your giving this year. Um, we ask and we ask and we ask. We know we make a lot of asks. But we're asking for pets who have no voice, and we're trying to give them that voice and make sure that they get the medical care and nourishment that they need. We lift them up and help them succeed, and we find them forever homes, which they are very much deserving of. They never did anything wrong to anybody, and they deserve the best. So we hope you will help us give that to them. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. I'd like to introduce Liberty. She is about one year old. She's a beautiful tiger. She loves to play. Um, a very active girl. Um, she is up to date on her baby shot, her distemper. She is spayed and she is also microchipped, which is very important. She's a very healthy girl. Um, if you have any kind of toy and throw it, she will be all over it. Um, she would be probably a pretty good mouser. Um, so if you're looking for a, a young, uh, very playful cat who's interested in, in where the fun is, Liberty is your girl. So if you have any questions about Liberty or any of the other cats or dogs that you'll see today, um, give us a call. 1-603-539-1077. Hi, I'd like to introduce another cat. Her name is Jewel. She's about five years old. She's a beautiful dilute tortoiseshell. Um, she's very sweet, absolutely loves affection. Um, she can be a little bit on the quiet side when you uh, first meet her, but she loves, loves attention. She will never say no to some love. Um, you can comb her, um, you can pick her up, she's wonderful. 
um, she was brought in as a stray, so she could potentially be an outdoor cat and indoor, but um, indoor is always best, but she is a, a survivor in that way. Um, so come on by and ask to see Jewel. I'd like to introduce um, a beautiful boy here for uh, up for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossipee, New Hampshire. This is Midnight. Midnight is about 12 years old. Um, he is front declawed and he's looking for um, probably a quiet home. Um, he is under medication, which we can explain if someone's interested in, in getting some more information about him. Um, and he's um, doing pretty well here. He lives with three girls, um, and he's doing very well um, kind of finding his own space. Um, he's a, a, quite a large cat, um, all black, um, kind of takes things as they come. Um, so if you're interested in Midnight, um, go ahead and give us a call or come and see him in person. We're at number 11, Old Route 28 in Ossipee, New Hampshire. I'd like to introduce Jez. She is a beautiful girl. She's about two years old. Um, she's a Siamese mix for all you uh, fanatical Siamese uh, lovers. Um, and she is uh, vocal, just like just like the breed um, indicates. She's very friendly. Um, those blue eyes will just melt your heart. Um, she's very sweet, um, very easygoing. Um, she came here with very pregnant, which um, uh, to no fault of her own, obviously. Um, but now she is uh, spayed, current on her vaccinations, and she's microchipped. Um, no medical issues whatsoever, just, she's just looking for her forever home. Um, so come on by and ask to see Jez and you will fall in love. Yeah, whenever you're ready. I'd like to introduce a beautiful female cat up for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossipee, New Hampshire. This is Kaya. Kaya is pretty shy. Um, she just got back from a, a great foster home um, and did really, really well. Um, she was with a nice, a super nice, quiet person um, who gave her lots of attention and Kaya um, stretched out on her bed and relaxed and laid on her back and was really, really happy. So we're looking for someone that has, um, or maybe she can be the only cat and be Boiled every day of her life. Um, she's just not sure. She just got back to the shelter, so she's kind of taking things in stride. Um, so the ideal home, um, probably the only cat and to be the, the only child, and just lots of love, lots of patience, um, a lot of petting. Um, she's very sweet, um, just a little shy, and that's, and that's easy to fix, very easy to deal with. Um, she's microchipped. She's up to date on all vaccines. Um, no medical issues. Um, can eat regular adult dry food. Um, likes a little canned food. Um, so she'd be a really easy cat to, to take on and, and, and keep forever. So if you have any questions, um, give us a call or, or come and meet Kaya. Hi folks, I'd like to introduce two great guys. Um, and we have the black cat, the stunning black cat, is Simon. He's about a year old um, and is, he can be a little bit shy sometimes, but he's, he's settled in nicely. Um, he's, got, he's stunning. He's all black. Um, he has a beautiful shiny coat. Um, he's young, so he has his whole life ahead of him to be in his forever home. Um, he loves canned food. Um, both of these guys love canned food. Um, and they are just looking for a, a quiet place to land and relax and spend the rest of their life. Um, shelter life is okay, but the home environment is, is just so much better. Um, so Simon is up for adoption. Um, this is Z. Z is about six years old. Um, He's um, definitely a gentle guy, very easygoing, can be um, pretty shy at times, and he'd probably be 
pretty shy during his transition into his home. Um, no special food requirements. Um, he's up to date on all vaccines. Um, both guys are neutered and both, um, both boys are microchipped. Um, so we look forward to um, inviting you to come by, come by the shelter, meet these guys and, f and find a friend. Hi folks, I'd like to introduce a great dog here up for adoption at the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossipi. This is Loretta. She's about nine years old. Um, she's a very smart girl. She is, she loves car rides. Um, loves, loves to be with people. Um, she's kind of, um, she's pretty happy here at the shelter, but um, she's taking everything um, really well. It's a big transition going from um, a home um, to a normal schedule to a shelter when everything's kind of up in the air and um, it's pretty pretty stressful. She's doing pretty well. Um, she loves to go for walks, so don't let the age fool you. She is absolutely fabulous on a leash. Loves loves to be with people. She doesn't like to be uh, doesn't like to be by herself too long. She's very loving, very sweet. Um, just a really a really nice girl. I I, I think she knows um, some commands as well. Um, so she's a bit of a social butterfly. She is um, a really wonderful dog. Chum chum. Good girl. Um, she would be, um, gosh, um, very sweet. So please come by. Ask to see Loretta. Um, age, age is a number, um, and she has a great attitude. Hi folks, I'd like to introduce another dog up for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossaby, New Hampshire. This is Jesse. Jesse's about five years old, um, and he's a pretty, pretty shy um, guy. Um, he gets a little bit overwhelmed, um, so we're looking for somebody that's um, okay with him being shy and knows how to, how to deal with him in a positive way and keep him safe. Um, he's a, um, a Chihuahua, um, beautiful, beautiful coat. Um, like he's pretty nervous right now and, and that's okay. He's been through a lot. Um, he loves canned food. He'll eat dry food. Um, he's a professional snuggler. He likes his, his bed with um, lots of soft stuffed animals and very cushy. So he's looking for the good life. Um, so if you, you're a small dog lover looking for, looking for a companion, um, Jesse might be, might be your guy. He is neutered, he's up to date on all vaccines, and ready to go.